So today we're going to be talking about what type of pests might be eating the plants in your garden. Uh, the main focus today is going to be on the potato beetle, specifically the false potato beetle. Now, in the U.S. primarily, there's two different types of potato beetle. Uh, the Mid-Atlantic and Southern regions, even, um, even farther north on the East Coast, as far as Maine, there's the false potato beetle. And then once you hit the Midwest and, and farther out west, you have the Colorado potato beetle. They're pretty similar. They have some different colorings uh, and markings. The false potato beetle that we'll be focusing on today uh, is a paler color, especially with the larva uh, and the young. They are like a pale, almost translucent, whereas the Colorado potato beetle is more orange. Also, the, potato, the false potato beetle has, uh, let me see, let me find one here. They've got one row of black dots along the side of them uh, when they're young or the larva. And the Colorado potato beetle has uh, two rows and they're more orange colored. Anyway, these types of bugs are pests. Uh, I don't think that they form any type of uh, good for the ecosystem. They're something that we have to deal with as gardeners, especially if you do organic gardening like we do. Um, they particularly like, of course, potatoes, uh, the leaves of the potatoes, but they also like to eat a lot of other plants like eggplant, tomatoes, uh, and even horse nettle. So how do you deal with this type of bug? Well, if you are um, organic gardening, you don't want to use any type of sprays. Uh, and you could also, you could use diatomaceous earth. The one problem that I have with diatomaceous earth, while it's an organic form of getting rid of a lot of bugs, is that uh, it kills indiscriminately. So while you might be getting rid of your potato bug problem with diatomaceous earth, you're also going to be harming or killing a lot of other good insects in the garden that you don't want to get rid of. So when I was younger, uh, one of my jobs in the garden was to pick, we called them tomato bugs back then, um, but we was to pick these bugs off of the plants and my dad would give us a little can of gasoline and we'd walk around and pick bugs off and put them in the gasoline. So that really sucked. Um, but the, uh, I think a, a better way might, you could pick them off and uh, put them like in some uh, dish soap just to drown them. Um, like some water with dish soap in it. So these things will eat quite a, a bit of your plants and they also produce uh, pretty uh, heavily. They uh, first come out in the early spring and mate and then lay their eggs. Uh, and then they can lay up to three to 500 eggs in a month, I think. And you will see little orange patches on your leaves. Uh, and I'll put a picture up so you can see what they look like. Um, so if you find these orange patches on your leaves, just crush them off. Um, and that's an easy way to get rid of them before the problem gets any bigger. But, you know, if you don't keep up with it, like I didn't, uh, or you miss some, um, they'll hatch and they'll start feeding on your plants and you'll find them, uh, these larvae crawling all around your, your plants and you'll see the, the holes that they eat in your leaves. Um, and they can decimate, you know, if you're just growing a, a few plants of like a couple of eggplants, they'll eat right through them. Um, so they can also go through several phases of growth throughout the year or, or several life cycles. So, you know, cause it only takes like a week or two for them to start growing and, or hatch and start growing and, and eat their way through and become adults and start all over again. They can do it up to three times in a season. So it's something that you will have to work with throughout the summer unless you can find a way to get rid of all of them right at the beginning. Uh, at the beginning of this season, I thought I was ahead of it. I found some uh, egg patches, crushed them off, found some adults, killed those, and, I, and then I didn't see any for a couple weeks. And I was like, oh, this is awesome, I got rid of them. Then I came out one day and I just had 
the babies crawling all over my leaves and just eating through them all. So uh, it's an ongoing process and I've got to come out here today and start picking some of these potato bugs off of my eggplant uh, before they eat my whole crop. If you have any comments on how you've found a way to fight the potato bug battle, uh, please comment below and, and let me know. Because uh, if I can find a way where I'm not harming other bugs, but just getting rid of these, uh, it would be very helpful. So good luck with your gardening. I hope you found this video informative. We'll do some more focus on other pests and plants uh, throughout the season. And uh, hopefully it will help you understand what type of bugs are crawling around your garden. So hope you have a good day. Namaste.